it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be going over my top 10 favorite conditioners. Now coming up with 10 was just a little bit harder than it was for shampoos, but shampoos I already knew straight off the bat what my top 10 favorite were. Now for conditioners, I had to really think because it takes a lot to get into this thick, dense hair. And let's just get right into it because I don't want the intro to be very lengthy. Now the first conditioner is going to have to be Olaplex number no. 5. This is their bond maintenance conditioner. Now I know Olaplex is a little on the pricey side, but I definitely think that this conditioner is worth it. If you want to just splurge, you know, treat yourself because we all need a little bit of treating every now and then, especially if you work really hard. I really love, love, love this conditioner. It is very thick and it caught me by surprise actually because I see that it says repair, strengthens, and hydrates all hair types and you know the whole stigma with all hair types because you know <laughs> it may not cover us with thick, dense, curly, natural hair or even if you have kinky hair it may not cover the whole all hair type and it just really gets my curls clumping no matter what. No matter if I need moisture, protein, if I need that balance it'll get me right every single time and also I notice when Ever I use this in a wash day and say for my deep conditioner, my curls are still so defined. They're clumped together. Even when I take my t-shirt off, get that moisture protein, get your curls balanced, and that's definitely what this does. It just goes into my hair. It's so thick and I don't need that much. As a matter of fact, for this little bottle, I use it three times, three full times. Some bottles that are like 10, 12, 16 ounces, I only get two uses out of. It's not as concentrated, but this one is so concentrated. I don't need that much of this, and it also gets my curls so clumped together and popping. Like it really gets my hair nice and repaired, strengthened. I notice that my hair is definitely stronger with using this, and I notice as I'm working this conditioner in my hair, it just feels really healthy. That's like, <laughs> all I can really say, it feels so good. I just really love using the Olaplex, the whole system. Uh, they're number three, four, and five. My next favorite conditioner has to be from Pure Zero. This is their Coconut Milk Moisturizing Conditioner. I really love this one and I have featured it a couple times here on my channel. First when I was really surprised that this was only, I believe it was like $6 and it works so good. Even if it wasn't $6, it still works really good. I just really love it. I am so happy I got it. I went to Whole Foods and I do a lot of my grocery shopping at Whole Foods. I went to their natural hair section where they have the oils. That's where I get my oils, well most of my oils for my hair. And I saw this, this was just on their like a front display. And I just said let me try it. I put it in my hair, oh my gosh. Like this shampoo and conditioner both, I love them the same. I was so happy I got it. I use it for my daughter's hair, my son's hair, with my baby, daughter, and son. I use it for their hair, my hair, it works great. So. That's a plus. I just really love the way it smells and it's very creamy. I just, mm, it's like really clean, like a really nice clean scent. And it also reads on the back, all Pure Zero collections are color safe and great for color treated hair. Now, that is another key fact that I wanted to point out because when you have color treated hair, coming from a natural that had her hair color treated a few times, you definitely want to take care of your hair. Now when you have color in your hair, you have to use products that are color safe and really good, very hydrating, very moisturizing for your hair because if you don't, your hair can become very dry, very brittle and just look dry even if you moisturized it like a couple days ago or even the day before. Say you just had a wash day and your hair just looks dry the same day. You have to use products that work great in keeping that moisture in your hair. With color, you really have to stay on top of it and if you don't, your hair is more prone to get damaged and you're just gonna have to trim quicker and it's just gonna be a mess. But even with protein and this conditioner, it does work phenomenally in my hair and I'm just so happy that I tried it out. I love it, highly recommend it. It is amazing and very, very affordable. My next favorite conditioner is from TGIN. This is their Triple Moisture Replenishing Conditioner with Shea Butter and Argan Oil in it. 
I really love TGIM products. They are very good, especially this collection with the whole moisture line. I really love it. So it does have shea butter and argon oil in it. Shea butter is a thicker consistency and also argon oil. It's not too heavy, but mixed in this, it works so good in my hair. And this does not have any protein in it. So I noticed that it does really work right here on my low porosity section. So if you don't know, I have low porosity hair here in the front and then medium porosity in the back. So sometimes I just have to get a little bit more moisture, like work that moisture in the front of my hair versus the back. I find that a lot more products, they work very good in the back of my hair, but that doesn't matter if products don't work in the front of my hair. I need for every product to work on all of my hair and this works so good it's just so moisturizing and i just really love it i notice that my hair it just feels like it's drinking up the conditioner and that is a good sign when you notice that the conditioner is actually penetrating into your hair versus sitting on top and actually when you rinse the conditioner out you notice that your hair still feels good it feels hydrated or it feels a lot better than it did before you put the conditioner in i have used products before and i put it in my hair especially conditioners and they just sat on top even after i tried to comb it in it just was not going into my hair strands and that's how i know that conditioner is not good for me at all but with this conditioner as soon as i was raking it in with my fingers it just really glided into my hair strands it smells good it has a really like a clean scent to it i really like it it smells mm, I have like a sweet scent, like a sweet clean scent, but not overbearing at all. Love that it has the shea butter in it, especially now during the colder weather. I really need products that are going to help hydrate and just keep my hair nice and moisturized. You know what I say, you need that moisture retention. It's not enough to get moisture in your hair, but you need to keep it in. A protein free conditioner that's very good with hydrating. This is the one. The next conditioner has to be from Alba Botanica. This is their Hawaiian conditioner and I absolutely love it. It's their Drink It Up Coconut Milk Mega Moisture. I absolutely love this conditioner. And just as it says that Mega Moisture, it definitely gives me a lot of moisture. I also got this from Whole Foods and I'm so happy I did. I got it before, I got the Pure Zero one but I just really love the way it helps to moisturize my hair. Even after I rinse it out, my hair still feels moisturized. And it has that nice Hawaiian, like that tropical scent, like papaya and coconut. It just smells really good, really clean, really fresh. It also is high in fatty acids and proteins, coconut milk, locks and moisture to strengthen the cuticle and reduce split ends. Now, I know not everyone can use coconut, but coconut oil, coconut milk, all like coconuts, they do work really good in my hair. And for that reason, I do look for products that do contain coconut oil, coconut milk in them, because I find that more so than likely it will work really good in my hair. But I really love this conditioner. It is so good. Also, it is, I believe this was $6. So thinking back on it, this one was $9 and this one was 6 Either way, they are both under $10 and they both work amazing. Now the next conditioner has to be this one from Design Essentials. This is their Almond and Avocado Moisturizing and Detangling Conditioner. I absolutely love, love, love this conditioner. It is amazing by far. This is one of the conditioners I have bought the most, like the most. I think I've bought it like six or seven times. It just really penetrates into my hair strands and really gets my curls so defined clump together they feel so hydrated so moisturized every single time that i use this conditioner and i rinse it out of my hair i just see that curl definition i can feel my curls clump together and like it says moisturizing and detangling even with the shampoo it works wonders and there have been a couple times where i did not pre-poo my hair i was in a rush and i used the moisturizing and detangling shampoo and the shampoo it just went right into my hair i didn't have any problems with detangling now i know my hair doesn't get tangled easily but still i love the shampoo i love this conditioner so much it just smells so good it smells like it smells sweet like it has a sweet scent but not overbearing i just cannot get over how good this conditioner is definitely one of my favorites i would say in my top top three this this conditioner is really good now the next conditioner has to be from camille rose this is their moroccan pear conditioning custard 
I absolutely love this conditioner. It has Moroccan pear and it smells so good. It smells like pear and cherry kernel oil. It does have a little bit of a cherry scent to it as well. And you know I'm big on oils. Anytime that I see a product and it has oils to it, I'm more likely to get that than not. And I just really love the way this conditioner melts into my hair. Also, this one does not have protein in it. So if you are protein sensitive, I would suggest checking this out. I just really love the way it just goes into my hair strands and without any issue at all. Even before I comb the conditioner in my hair, this conditioner really goes into my hair strands. If you notice that you are struggling trying to work a conditioner in your hair, it's probably not for you and you're just wasting your time. But I highly recommend to really look and get products that are good for you because I know some naturals, you're trying to make products work for you that just are not working. And going into this new year, we have to choose the products that are good for us. We are going to give our hair the TLC that it needs and deserves. I love this conditioner and I have been using it for years. I love it so much. I hope that they do not discontinue any of these conditioners. I really love all of them. Okay, my next favorite conditioner has to be this one from Shade Moisture. This is their Manuka Honey and Macro Oil Intensive Hydration Conditioner with Fig Extract and Baobab Oil. This conditioner is so, so good. And exactly what it says, intensive hydration. I really love it. Anytime where I need that pick me up if I feel like my hair is just a little bit dry. I remember before I started doing the whole pre-poo, shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioning every single wash day. This will be one of my go-tos because it did give me that hydration, that moisture retention that I needed. But now that I'm doing the pre-pooing, shampoo, condition, and deep condition every single wash day, well, for the most part, sometimes if I'm doing a sponsored video, I notice some of you comment and say you didn't pre-poo what happened and depending on their brand they don't want some of their products marketed as a pre-poo or they don't have one and it's just you know you do what the instructions tell you to do and i follow instructions very good so moving right along this conditioner was one of my main conditioners back when i did the big chop i'm telling you this conditioner has been around for a long time i really love it it was like I said, one of my main conditioners because it really gave me that intensive hydration every single time that I used it and I rinsed the conditioner out of my hair. It felt so good, it felt very soft, very healthy, moisturized. My hair didn't feel dry, didn't feel brittle. It just felt like everything that I wanted it to feel like and not what I did not want it to feel like. This conditioner is amazing. It has the Manuka honey and honey is another ingredient that I know works in my hair very good. So for that reason, I do opt for products that have honey as an ingredient in it. And honey is a natural humectant. So it means it's going to help to moisturize your hair and also it's going to help pull moisture from the air just to keep that moisture locked in your hair, like keep that moisture retained. Also it has some mafro oil and mafro oil is a natural damage control, helps to soften and promote healthy hair. I love when my hair feels nice and soft but not too soft. Also it has the fig extract which is an antioxidant vitamin C and it keeps hair looking vibrant and that is very good, especially when I had my color treated hair. I wanted my hair to pop. I wanted my color to look vibrant, not dull. I love this. This has been riding with me for years, ever since the very beginning, so I could definitely not forget this in this video. And my next favorite is another Shea Moisture. This is their Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. Now, I really like this one, and I know some naturals don't because of the scent, or they just don't vibe with it. It does have that apple cider vinegar in it and I noticed that even doing an apple cider vinegar wash to my hair, it does get my curls clumping and pop together and that's what I do notice from this conditioner. It really gets my curls clumped together. Even after a really good or even a bad shampoo, this conditioner really helps my hair. It just feels really soft, really nourished, really conditioned and I really like it. That's how I know with all of these conditioners, they get my hair in shape no matter what. They are standalones. And this is why this is in my favorites because I don't need products that are dependent on another. I mean, it's great that products do work great in conjunction. It has a shea butter, like another ingredient that my hair does like, especially now in the colder season. It helps to deeply moisturize while conditioning hair and scalp. 
very important. Don't forget your scalp. And it has a Jamaican black castor oil, a uh, oil that I absolutely love. And this oil really helps to repair, has omegas that help promote healthy hair growth. And I am growing my hair. Many of you have noticed my hair is growing quickly. And that's because I'm using products that really work for my hair. I'm not just using anything. And it has peppermint and that helps to stimulate the scalp for an invigorating experience. And I totally agree. Peppermint is definitely great for the scalp. Peppermint essential oil is really great. I love this conditioner and the shampoo. I really like it too, but I really love this conditioner. Next favorite is another Shea Moisture. I really like Shea Moisture. I find that they do get their ingredients right. This is their 100% version coconut oil daily hydration conditioner with coconut milk and acacia Senegal in it. And I really love this conditioner especially the leave-in from this collection. It works phenomenal in my hair and the mask. It works really good. I'm not gonna spoil too much for you, but this line, it works really good in my hair. It claims that it helps to rehydrate, soften, and detangle hair with this daily rinse out conditioner. So I will agree, it definitely helps to hydrate my hair and it does help to soften. I love when my hair feels really nice and soft. And they also claim that it is a daily conditioner. Now, I wouldn't recommend to wash your hair every single day unless you're swimming. That's a different story. But anyway, I remember when I first cut my hair, I did the big chop. I used to wash my hair like every other day. Sometimes I would wash it every day just because I thought that's what I was supposed to be doing. I would shampoo and condition it. But this is a conditioner that I could see working for that. It definitely helps to moisturize my hair. I have used it back to back before, like a few times when my hair it just did not turn out right. And this conditioner, it definitely helped keep that moisture, same energy, same time. But anytime that I need to wash my hair or I know I need to wash my hair a couple times in a week, I will opt for this conditioner because it is that good. Now my last favorite conditioner has to be another Shea Moisture. This is their Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner with Sea Kelp and Argan Oil. I really love this one because it has the Shea Butter in it. It really helps to deeply nourish and moisturize my hair, which I definitely need. And this is one of my secrets I can give you is to use products like these just to keep your hair deeply moisturized and nourished using products that do have shea butter, castor oil, coconut milk, coconut oil, I'm trying to think what else. Honey is another one. They just work wonders for my hair and just keep doing that. Repeat that because that is obviously what your hair loves. It has the C cup, it's mineral rich so it helps to smooth hair and you know I love when my hair is nice and smooth. Also it has argon oil to help restore shine and support hair's elasticity. That's very important. So elasticity is when your hair, you pull your hair and it bounces back. So if you pull your hair and your hair just stays straight, that is not a good sign of healthy hair. You want that elasticity, that shrinkage that some of us hate and you know, it's a sign of healthy hair. It also has the organic shea butter. Like I said, it helps to deeply moisturize while conditioning your hair and scalp. So using products like these definitely work amazing for my hair. And for that reason, I had to add it in my top 10 favorite conditioners list. Okay, now that you know what my top 10 favorite conditioners are, look for a favorites deep conditioner coming very soon and that's going to be very easy because you know I love deep conditioning my hair so, so much. That is very crucial. Another one of my tips that I can give you is to make sure that you are deep conditioning your hair every single wash day and if you aren't, Try it and you'll see how it makes a tremendous difference. Also, comment down below what some of your favorite conditioners are. I read all your comments and I wanna go through some of them, try some new conditioners and just see if I like them or not. Do a couple videos on them. I just really love trying new products out. Thank you so much for all your love and continued support. I love each and every single one of you. I will never take any one of you for granted. I just really thank you for the opportunities you have given me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.